hello and welcome back to my channel so after a huge uh, kind of disappointment uh, on my previous car it's been a kind of a roller coaster and uh, I was thinking what to do next with regards to uh, should I stay uh, with the Audi or should I swap I come to the decision to buy this baby here yeah it's 2014 Mercedes ML 350 Blue Tech Come follow me, I'll show you a little bit about it. I'll take it for a little bit of off-roading today, just for a little bit mild one. Yeah, so I'll show you other bits and bobs, tell you a bit more uh, about the history of this car, and tell you other uh, important things. So, yeah, so you can uh, see for yourself if you want a car like this for yourself. It's kind of hard to keep it, this car clean now and uh, in this weather. So, looking kind of nice, I must admit, uh, it got caught my eye when I first saw this one, so got brilliant, very nice looking Mercedes intelligent light system that can change uh, to whatever situation you are in, by the push of the button uh, you can uh, change this, and yeah, you don't have to put the stickers on your uh, headlights and do it that way. So as you can see, this doesn't have a radar uh, cruise control, otherwise it would have a glass bit on the front here. Uh, drivers for Mercedes, uh, for this model especially, have been reporting that these um, strips uh, go out because there is some moisture coming in uh, from the sides, yeah, so which makes these lines disappear. So I'm kind of expecting this already. And for your indicator lights, and the white strip just in the middle, looks quite nice but I think overall uh, rear tail lights for Audi Q7 and the BMW X5 for around the same year look a bit better so you have a fuel gauge here uh, for your diesel and for AdBlue it's the first car I'm having with the AdBlue uh, I think it holds up to about uh, 10 or 15 liters on the tank for AdBlue and you can do uh, plenty of miles so it don't have to fill it up I think it's once every 5,000 miles or something you have to fill it up just uh, for your environment and the other bits here so show you uh, the alloy wheels are all MG line yeah so we have tire size 265 45 R20 on the Pirelli tires yeah this car is very very quiet and uh, these are yeah sideboards here looking very nice have a little bit of um, designer mod so front uh, brake discs are very large and they are also ventilated yeah again as you can see your AMG badging here on the side so very nice particularly like these front lights yeah they are looking very very nice and modern and I think this car will look even 10 years later will still look very nice and modern so what I also like is these little vents here uh, for your cooling on the bonnet yeah and also yes your Mercedes-Benz badge They're looking very very nice indeed okay so let's take this car a little bit for a test drive and I'll see what this is all about yes you also have your uh, black roof yeah looks very nice from the top size of this car is very fast indeed so you have a 258 brake horsepower on the standard uh, 3 liter yeah so if you put the stage 1 remap on it that will probably make it up to 300 brake horsepower uh, a lot of people do stage 1 in these days uh, so I'm not sure if I should do it uh, that make it a little bit more economical would it make it better uh, to drive uh, I'm still considering that yeah uh, steering is very nice and light uh, very precise however if you are uh, driving on a speed you have to take a roundabout very nice and careful yeah, because this car uh, have a little bit of rolling yeah it's not as stable 
That's something like BMW X5, I'd say. However, uh, it is good enough, you know. Shouldn't be doing crazy speeds on this car. So if you put navigation here, yeah, it shows it all very nice and clear. Your, on your navigation, yeah, and it shows your speed limit. center here. Okay. So I think overall this is quite easy uh, to live in this car every day. I had this car for uh, around two weeks now. I've uh, done about 500 uh, miles on it, maybe a little bit more. So yeah, I'm overall happy with it. Uh, for me again, as I said before, it was quite a hard decision to go from Audi Q7 onto something different. Uh, this car feels a bit more modern now, and, uh, and I would say it's not as expensive as the car uh, I've driven before. Because uh, for this year, and the same spec on an Audi Q7, uh, it would cost uh, £2,000 more with your reverse camera, with your memory seats, with your panoramic roof and uh, for this mileage as well. So, yeah, I'm quite happy uh, where I am. Uh, not sure how long I'll keep this car. Uh, got it with a three year warranty. And uh, so far, uh, been so good, yeah. Passenger seat, uh, so backrest. Uh, didn't uh, operate so that was sorted uh, front and rear parking sensors uh, they were not working uh, so module has been replaced and it's all working nice and tidy so very nice and uh, yeah also uh, auxiliary small auxiliary battery uh, have been replaced battery in a boat uh, that takes some pressure out from the main battery yeah. so that was having a uh, problem uh, before the car was in my hands so all these things were sorted so let's see if we can take this car basically to the same wheel stretcher road before so you can also put this car uh, off-road here by pushing this button here, yeah. And your hill descent control again, as I showed before, yeah. So nice and easy. It's quite nice walk. Okay, we go for a walk. Show you a little bit of interior of this car. Uh, you've probably seen a lot of other videos. Uh, however, just want to show you specifically what I've got in uh, this uh, price tag of uh, 19,000 pounds. Um, so when this car was new, it costed uh, just around 60 to 70,000 uh, pounds with this specific spec and the color. So what we got here is uh, basically a seven-inch uh, screen from Mercedes-Benz, uh, with your Mercedes-Benz apps. Uh, you can have an internet radio, Mercedes mobile website, and you can also see your owner's manual here. And uh, got plenty of options. However, to connect this system, uh, you have to go uh, through your tethering and the hotspot sharing from your mobile phone. And uh, basically, yeah, uh, get this all the system uh, set up through there as well if you want to have an internet radio yeah or uh, any connection uh, from this bounce here so uh, we got here on the options yeah we got a radio 
yeah it's nice and easy scroll through the system here yeah so it changes all your radio stations by changing the wheel rotating just like that okay so you also got uh, your disc you can put your dvd player inside here uh, so if you put that in here uh, for example you load that one up you can also put the dvd and recorded uh, cds yeah it's not very common uh, for 2020 anymore however if you got kids at the back and you're just waiting uh, in the traffic and uh, this can just kill uh, some time and uh, to keep your kids entertained yeah so when all hope seemed lost so yeah sanctuary. nice and simple graphics are quite clear the minions were safe. so yeah all very nice and interesting here okay so yeah i'm gonna stop that one for now so basically all your on your navigation system uh, the, I specifically like this one because the maps are super clear yeah. and it shows you lots of information and it also shows you the speed limit you should be doing in a cr uh, current area and it also shows you uh, on the center display uh, when you're driving as well okay so we'll demonstrate that while we will be driving here so also you can put your telephone preparation here uh, all nice and easily you rotate it through your uh, scroll wheel like that from this side here okay so you connect it through your phone and uh, you can re even read your sms messages uh, call list yeah so everything again shows up on the top of the screen here so on your audio yeah, you can basically uh, by pushing again the middle button here and it points out the little arrow then you can uh, see the display all your uh, ways how you can put your music on so you can have a radio uh, cd and a memory card yeah memory card slot is just here on the center here music register uh, that would be through your uh, internet browser and uh, the other bits so usb storage so usb storage and the location for it would be just inside here in the glove box here yeah and you have your iphone adapter here as well okay for your connection so again for your glow box just close it's like that nice and easily here so basically for your media interface and you also have a bluetooth audio so it connects your music straight from your phone and it takes uh, just literally a few seconds to connect and again you have an auxiliary port as well available in your glove box okay so a little bit on that and um, what you also have a uh, lots of other uh, systems uh, also you got the dial pad here from one to nine i think it's a uh, very common for American cars that are made in America and uh, sweet car from, cars from Sweden do that a uh, little bit as well uh, it's quite handy so a little bit more on your systems here you got uh, your three position uh, heated seats yeah and uh, your traction control uh, your hazard lights this is if you want to uh, put your car in a stop start which I uh, don't like it as you probably know by watching my other videos so you can disable your parking sensors and again for a, a driver's seat yeah you have three positions for your driving <coughs> climate control i think this one is a little bit of uh, updated uh, not big fan of these rotary dials they look kind of cheap yeah when you touch them uh, they could have made them a little bit better you can have your automatic climate control and a little bit on the bottom of the screen yeah you can have more information it shows about what exactly is going on inside the car yeah so dual zone climate control and uh, yeah it's quite quite easy for your setup and uh, to make yourself comfortable in this regard right so and uh, also uh, on your steering wheel uh, you got all your command uh, options here 
and uh, there is more information in your center uh, console uh, sorry in the middle of your speedometer so by pushing to the side yeah you can uh, scroll between your trip uh, navigation yeah, it shows you direction of travel uh, audio shows you what radio station or what track is playing uh, telephone shows you your coverage uh, assistant uh, shows you basically on assistance graphic yeah so if we push ok so this is when you can basically see that yeah this is the current speed limit and this will show you uh, basically your like a crash detection so it gives you a warning if you are too close to the car in front as well okay so just to go back you push button here and uh, you also have a speed limit assist uh, you have a distance warning yeah attention assist so if you're starting to feel a little bit drowsy and you're quite vague on reacting on your steering uh, that will basically uh, yeah put you start to vibrate your steering wheel to make you a bit more aware of where you are shows your kilometers at the moment uh, you can change it to the miles as well it shows the temperature and uh, other functions in the center screen here so what you can also have is uh, uh, all your information uh, from the uh, right hand side of your steering wheel uh, via voice control and it's quite uh, clear and it's very precise when you speak uh, recognize my voice with no problem so to enter your navigation with a postcode yeah that works all very nice and clear so again you can drop your call and uh, pick up your phone uh, nice and easily from your steering wheel also you got paddle shifts and uh, as I imagine most of the cars from United, built uh, for United States market and specifically this car as well uh, have all your uh, gear selector is just from uh, steering wheel uh, on this lever here so if you want to engage in a drive all you do is you push the lever down yeah and you are in the drive so and if you want to put it in the park yeah push the button here on the side and then you are in uh, mode here so for reverse you just bring it up yeah and that puts cars car in reverse and activates your reverse camera and you also have a guidance for where you are in the location to guide you in your parking bay zero to 60 takes just over seven seconds which is um, a little bit faster than my q7 i used to have before uh, however on the miles per gallon i think uh, this car is just about the same so what you also got here is um, you got controls for your seat yeah on the, on your door some people like it uh, I'm not a big fan of it I to be honest like it more on the side of it here however is uh, very nicely and easily accessible so bring it up and down yeah your uh, backrest and also your headrest here moves up and down yeah just like that so also three uh, drivers memory so by pushing a button uh, you can activate whatever you need and uh, also lock and unlock and your trunk release is located just on the door here okay so all very nicely and easily laid out so what you also have uh, for your driving so if you want to uh, go for your off-road uh, you got hill descent control uh, DSR uh, by engaging this yeah you are automatically going in uh, six kilometers per hour or that would be four miles an hour uh, when you're going down a hill and uh, you have another button here this is if you want to do off-road and uh, this is reducing basically also your speed and uh, for you to uh, go through your gears you have to apply more pressure on your um, accelerator pedal and uh, go through there uh, as you can see this car is not equipped uh, with all these amazing um, air suspension and uh, other bits where you can choose the mode you're driving in uh, sports mode etc 
Uh, however, I find it uh, much easier uh, not to worry about the air suspension uh, on the Mercedes-Benz is not the one uh, which uh, shouts for um, reliability, I'm afraid. This is one of my personal um, uh, research and uh, the car I had before on Audi Q7 was also uh, not very reliable in air suspension. So this is why I specifically was looking for a car without the air suspension so to have a little bit more peace of mind and you also have your electric steering wheel that can go up and down like that that is just spot on i love this bit so the option that i'm missing in this car uh, is basically heated steering wheel uh, which i think it's quite rare for this car and uh, yeah also uh, on the higher end models you would have something like um, Harman Kardon uh, sound system uh, you would have also ambient lighting on the bottom here so it doesn't have it unfortunately yeah and uh, what I also got is a panoramic roof which slides yeah just like that it's a single uh, piece of panel uh, however it opens in uh, two parts here so uh, to open it up you can just basically push the button and it opens up like that or if you bring your yeah so this can basically open it like that so it might need a little bit of oiling uh, or lubricant on the sunroof here so to make it work a little bit better yeah and uh, also what I hear is uh, people often having issues um, with the panoramic sunroofs where it's starting to leak that becomes a problem and the car is starting to uh, get all the water inside the cabin so let's jump to the back and I'll show you a little bit more how much room there is at the basically what you do is you can bring your seats up and down like that and the hook over seats is you have a hook here yeah so we have it uh, dogs here before and to bring your seat in like that so you do just like that nice and flat here yeah? floor is, as you can see floor base is completely flat so you have plenty for your storage as well okay so to bring your seat back up like that and bring it here so let's jump at the back and I'll see how much room there is So, I'm just under six foot, absolutely plenty of space for me here, you have plenty of your um, headroom, even though this has a, a panoramic roof, uh, absolutely plenty of uh, knee room, um, what this car doesn't have is uh, basically uh, you can bring your seats back and forwards like I was able uh, in my Audi Q7 for example, because this is only a five seater. Okay, so if you sit at the, in the middle here, um, you have somewhere to put your feet, yeah, nice and flat, so you have absolutely plenty of space. As I would say overall, uh, this car is a little bit more comfier at the back than an Audi Q7 I've driven. I also sat in the cars like the BMW X5, and uh, I think uh, out of them three, uh, this would be the um, best for your rear leg, look, leg room. Yeah. So what you also have here is um, your uh, little pocket here where you can put your money. And if you push this one here, yeah, you have more places where you can put your mobile phone or whatever you want here yeah, in this little pocket here. And another pocket here. So I'm not sure why they did it and I think it's quite a bad idea. Why they put the 12 volt cigarette lighter here. Yeah. I don't think it's the best location for it. Again, you have a um, lot tethering nets on the side, and um, I got this one attached for kids TV. So yeah, overall, I quite like it here. It's very roomy. I got um, very bright uh, headlining uh, for your uh, roof. So all looking very nice and spacious. And uh, again, I'll show you here. If, I'm not sure if you can see these little windows here shows uh, for your parking. Yeah. So if you're reversing. That will show you on this little window here for your um, 
when you're reversing it will bring your lines uh, so then you can see and there is also one in the front of the car uh, on your on top of your dashboard yeah? uh, there's one over there okay so I could do probably miles in this car and this is something I'm looking forward to when all these restrictions end I'm looking to have this for a long trip uh, around Europe or maybe going to the Highlands and visiting Scotland and uh, Wales just to discover uh, what this car is uh, like on a long journey so top right your tool just push the lever here on the bottom and it opens nice and wide so as you can see uh, both is quite spacious uh, you have close to 700 liters of boat space uh, with your seats up so you have a quite light uh, parcel shelf uh, that fits in space quite easily uh, so we also got here you have quite plenty of space on your storage here on the bottom here yeah. as you can see you can fit either your spare wheel here or you can have it as additional storage and uh, all the tools and everything comes on a separate tray here so it's very nice and easily all this material feels very very nice and it's very very expensive so again you have a here and my uh, put all those here if you're getting kicked out of the house so save you for a day uh, also you have a 12 volt uh, socket uh, you have your uh, hooks for your shopping like that here on the side yeah and you can close them nicely here as well you have your tethering nets here uh, quite big and deep pocket here on the side so yeah uh, plenty of chrome bits shiny bits yeah so that parking sensors all this is looking really really nice yeah so something i don't really fancy is that there is no um, visible uh, exhaust pipes so they are located right under there so and the, this car is also um, quite uh, high up uh, I think it's uh, on the ground clearance just about 21 uh, or 22 centimeters which I think is enough okay so to close the bolt yeah you can just release it will just like that put this uh, things back in Yes, guys, this is where we are now. I will see how long we keep this one for, but it's a brilliant uh, car for every day. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for my channel, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.